Good morning, Washington. Good afternoon. Good night. Good night. Whatever. It is the uh, 29th of June, 2011, here on Dave TV, DCRTV.com. A couple interesting things in the paper today. You know, I've been talking about Discovery Communications. You know, they run a whole bunch of channels. They got uh, the Discovery Channel. They've got uh, TLC, Animal Planet, the Science Channel, you know, a whole bunch of channels, Military Channel. And, you know, you think with all these cable channels, they would get pretty good ratings, in the, at least in the cable universe, right? So here's USA Today, 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 Today. Here's their little, uh, you know, chart of uh, TV for the week. And you look at cable's top 15, okay? Cable's top 15 shows right there. And you look, okay, number one is BET Awards, uh, True Blood on HBO is number two, Bird Notice on USA, three, another USA, USA, you know, Disney, Disney, USA, History, Disney, Disney, TNT, USA, USA, Dis USA, Disney, Disney. I mean, there's not, uh, of these top 20 shows of, you know, this past, this week here that they're looking at, there was not one Discovery Communications show on any of them, you know? I mean, it's, you just got to wonder. Then they have here Spotlight, the top cable TV channels, okay? And uh, USA is number one, although they've seen about an 8% decline in their ratings in the past year. Um, TNT is two, top 10%. Disney's three, History's four, with a huge 33%. The idea of Pawn Stars and all that crap, Swamp Things, I guess, you know, whatever. Fox News is fifth, down 5%. ESPN is sixth. Nick at Night is seventh, tied for A&E. Ninth is F FX. Uh, and uh, there's a whole tie for ninth. And Discovery Channel does get a tie for ninth, okay? But they're down 3% year over year. you got to wonder, with all these channels... Silver Spring-based Discovery Communications really ain't doing all that hot in terms of ratings, you know? I mean, I keep seeing this. I'm not reading about it anywhere, you know, in the in the media. But, you know, I don't know. You know, with all the channels they got, they really don't have any really super-duper hit shows, at least in the cable universe. Oh, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I look at the Science Channel, and I do think, you know... The makeover over there is kind of silly. I, I really do think Morgan Freeman's Life Through the Wormhole thingy is uh, one of the best shows ever made for television. I can't, can't imagine it's getting great ratings because it's kind of egg-heady and too intellectual, but it's a wonderful show. Uh, but Science Channel really has dumbed down. You know, some nights there's nothing on there but, you know, those uh, how do we make these things shows. You know, it's just, ugh. Now then you got another thing that's kind of disgusting is Lisa DeMarais here in the Washington Post. That's her column for today. This lady, I don't know. Did she get a check from Jon Stewart? Does she get like a PR? Is she, is she on his PR department or something? Man, this woman just fawns over Jon Stewart. I mean, like he, you know, oh, you know. He, she just has this massive crush on Jon Stewart. I mean, this woman must go home at night and just dream about Jon Stewart because she writes the most glowing personal pieces about, you know, Jon Stewart. I mean, before you know, a while back it was Jon Stewart on a you know, lengthy piece on Jon Stewart co covering the not covering the Anthony Weiner affair. And now a big law another big piece on Jon Stewart and that stupid brouhaha he had with uh, Chris Wallace over there at Fox News. I don't know, you know. Come on, Lisa. Cover some... I don't know. It's, it's, is it getting old? I guess it's better than reading her crap about American Idol. Oh, well. I think she's a little long in the tooth. Maybe it's time to, uh, you know, you know, instead of letting some of their good columnists go like Pegararo, they ought to be maybe letting her go. They, they need some, <laughs> some, some, fresh, some fresh meat there at the post. <laughs> All right, folks, what's the big news today? Well, we're hearing some news from the Baltimore Sun that it looks like their B freebie tabloid ain't doing so hot. Some big cuts reported over there. Uh, and it looks like maybe that uh, B tabloid may only be coming out on Wednesdays in the future instead of Monday through Friday. So we shall see about that. Uh, does anybody care about Washingtonian? I mean, really, it's, it's such a... 
I don't know. You know, it does okay. I guess people read it in dentist offices and stuff. But they've, you know, picked the Junkies as the best morning show. I, you know, they're not bad. I like the Junkies, but I don't know. You know, would you pick them the best morning show on the radio? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, the other big news, and this is where it gets interesting here, Bill Hess. Remember Bill Hess? Bill Hess has been in Washington Radio for a long time behind the scenes, obviously. He was programmer for uh, Wash and Big back when they were cool stations, especially Big back when it was a cool oldie station. Anyhow, he went to Air America for a while before they went down the toilet. Now he's uh, been working at WMAL for about the past year or so, basically doing what they call assistant program direction. He's been here in Washington while the program director, uh, Drew... Um, Drew Hayes. Drew Hayes is the uh, operations guy for uh, WLS in Chicago, and that's Citadel's talker in Chicago, the big 890. Uh, Drew has been uh, you know, programming both stations, but he needed someone here in Washington, so they got Bill Hess on board, and they liked what Bill Hess has done. So just yesterday, they made Bill Hess the program director of WMAL, so he'll call the shots. What's interesting is we've been reporting these rumors, and you know they come from fairly reliable sources in the business, that somehow 105.9 might be coming to be a, 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 a relay for WMAL, an FM relay. And I've emailed both Drew Hayes and I've emailed uh, Bill Hess, and neither of them will respond. I just say, hey, I'm hearing a lot of rumors about 105.9 becoming a WMAL relay. Can you shoot down the rumor or at least confirm it or deny it or whatever? And they're not responding. So, you know, if it's not true, if it's not going to happen, then, you know, I can't imagine why they wouldn't just say, hey, Dave, you're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know. You know, as I say, I've li I like the folks that work over at 105.9 The Edge, uh, Surf and Michael Mara and Kirk McEwen and uh, all the other, you know, Susie Quattro. I mean, um, Susie, whatever her name is. They're all cool people. <laughs> I like them a lot, but uh, the music, man, it's just, uh, you know, kind of that um, high school hits that you tend to, you, you hope you would have forgotten. You know, stuff I listened to in my high school days that I'm glad I don't listen to anymore. <laughs> oh, well, you know, uh, I'd be interesting to see what happens over there. Um, but, you know, if, you know, if people are going to complain about me spreading rumors, then at least, you know, if I give them the chance to deny them, and they don't deny them, what do you do? I don't know. So stay tuned to 105.9. 105.9. Um, and uh, see if anything new comes with that. Uh, so a little, a little more news there on old uh, Courtney Robinson going to the Florida TV year. Uh, we reported yesterday that she's heading, she's a Channel 7 reporter who's worked there for, since 2008. She's going to be heading down to Florida to, uh, Fort Myers, which is a kind of puny little market compared to Washington, but at least she'll be an anchor down there as opposed to just a reporter. Uh, a couple updates. She's going to be anchoring the 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and 11 p.m. weekday newscasts at a station called, uh, WZVN, which is the ABC affiliate for the Fort Myers Florida, you know, they cover what Naples and uh, Marco Island and all that stuff over there on the uh, west so southwest coast of Florida. So, congrats to her. I mean, hey, you know, no more standing out in the cold snow uh, reporting stuff for uh, for for, for uh, Channel Savon. All right, folks, that's the big news for today. Uh, getting ready for the big Fourth of July weekend. So, uh, you know, we may do a show or a Dave TV episode over the weekend. A big long weekend, which probably will go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You know, it'll be the weekend that lasts for a week. And uh, don't forget to uh, visit DCR TV. And thank you all for your support in this past first half of uh, 2011. And it's been fun, and we'll make it more fun for the last half of 2011. And if big news happens with 105.9, we'll break in to interrupt your programming with a special bulletin. So stay tuned. And uh, don't forget to uh, keep it real, baby. Bye.